to show you guys the cutest uh, human hair wig from John Renault. It is from their new light collection. But before I get to that, let me tell you about this topper that I am wearing. This is also a John Renault piece. It is, this, it is their synthetic top style 18 inch in the color 10RH16. You can easily pull this up into a ponytail for the summer. I've just twisted some of my own hair into it and then done a ponytail, but this is my go-to topper for all updos. So, John Renault Top Style Synthetic in the 18 inch. Okay, so the wig I'm showing you guys is the Human Hair Wig from John Renault Carrie. Now, I don't know if you've heard, but John Renault has come out with a new collection of light wigs. And these are a light density, um, more natural everyday style, and they have done a whole new cap construction, which I think is phenomenal. So. Um, I feel like y'all may know Carrie already. She is a very popular John Renault wig. Let me give you the details on her real quick. Lace front, mono top, 10 inches from the crown, nine and a half inches on the side, seven inches on the nape, and four ounces. And this color is 12FS12. I know 12FS8 is a popular uh, blonde shade with John Renault, but this is a 12FS12. All right, now going to the cap construction on Carrie. Now this is the standout feature of this piece. So the new light collection from John Renault, first off, they have two human hair pieces, Carrie and Blake, and then three synthetic, Zara, Julianne, and Cameron. Um, so this is one of the five that you can get in this new light collection. So the feature on this is their Smart Lace. Uh, we've talked about Smart Lace a lot. It is developed by John Renault where the lace fibers have the crisscross, it's like a almost like a hashtag um, pattern, and then where the fibers cross, they weld it. So it um, is supposed to prevent stretching and fraying, and it's supposed to be a really durable, but very lightweight, delicate lace. Um, so they've used the smart lace on these pieces, but instead of stopping at the temples or even the ears, they have gone all the way around this new ear tab and I mean, it's like back here. So this is the longest stretch of lace I have ever seen on a wig, but it goes from like ear to ear. And then the ear tabs, instead of being like a bulky um, felt part of the wig that bends and moves, this is a polyurethane ear tab. So this is very lightweight. The lace comes down below it. And then if you can see here, this little bar, this is the piece that bends. So it's very, very lightweight, just a little bit of bend in there. So if you want to pull your um, wig off of your face, which this is designed to do if you want to wear a ponytail or do an updo, um, you should be able to pull it back and not have that like kind of very obvious wig look um, around the ear area. So that's what's going to give you that natural look here on the ear as this little bendy piece here. Now the piece is also hand tied, which is gonna give you great natural looking movement. And then it has this little stretchy piece here in the back of the cap. Now this is new and will give you, see how lightweight and stretchy that is? This will stretch from a petite average size all the way up to an average large size. So you're gonna get a wide range of sizes in this. You won't have to guess if you're petite, average, large. If you're kind of in between like a petite and an average, you never know if I should go down to a petite or up to an average. This will fit both. So this is a great feature on this wig, it gives you lots of stretch. And then there is this silicone nape, which I'm feeling it right now and it has like some, it doesn't feel sticky, it just feels like it's going to adhere to whatever you put it on. So um, when it comes in contact with your skin, like it's gonna hold um, the wig in place here on your nape. And again, if that's, um, if you wanna wear a ponytail with this piece and pull it back, sometimes it can ride up in the back and this will lock it into place um, and help keep the wig down on your neck where it belongs. And it still does have the um, adjustable tabs here. The only thing is not felt, it's silicone. Um, so as far as grip goes, if you do want to wear a ponytail or an updo, but you need to keep this in place, John Renault does recommend um, you use a lace adhesive anywhere around this lace area. They sell a lace adhesive specifically for their pieces and for their smart lace. So I would definitely search for that product. And then they sell a product called Lace Let Go. 
that you spray on here and it dissolves the adhesive and you can easily um, take it off of your head at the end of the day because if you start pulling um, on this lace, it's going to stretch, um, it could potentially break it and fray it, and you won't get that nice close fit on your head. So I would definitely recommend the John Renault products specifically for the John Renault pieces. Now you can also use wig tape on these polyurethane ear tabs or um, the silicone. You can use that, but on the lace, definitely use a product design specifically for lace. Okay, I think that is, all I need to say about this new cap, like I said, Carrie is an older style that you've probably seen, but the lace is like, or not the lace, the whole new cap construction is the phenomenal new feature. So we had to talk a lot about that. All right, I'm gonna go put her on so you can see how she looks. Be screenshot ready. Here are all the details on John Renault's Carrie Light. Okay, here she is. This is Carrie Light. Now, I will say I am not doing this wig justice. I have seen women wearing this piece on social media and they look so beautiful in it and that you can style this wig um, different ways. Of course, this is right out of the box, so I'm not going to heat style it or uh, put any water or anything on it like that because it's not mine. But um, just know that if you don't like like a deep part or uh, this kind of style, there's a lot of things you can do with this piece. It is an everyday um, bob with some angles here in the front. So there's a lot of great ways you can style this piece. Um, like I said, I feel like I'm not doing it justice because it's a beautiful, beautiful style. I've seen it worn a lot of different ways. So uh, just do a quick search for Carrie and you can see all the great ways you can wear this piece. This is again, a human hair piece and this is from the Light Collection. Now I, um, I just did the review for Zara Light and I just noticed how Wonderful these feel on my head. I love the light pieces. They have done a great job, especially um, with the density It feeling uh, like it's just part of your head and movable and breathable, not just a lot of bulk. I feel like um, if I were to style this, it wouldn't look even as bulky up here. This is, I think, just um, a product of the way that the hair is laying, of course, is right out of the box. If I were to style it a different way, it wouldn't look even this thick, but you can see on the side here how natural it looks. The fibers feel amazing. Um, okay, so let me show you the lace front, which is um, one of the star features of this piece. Like, look how natural that looks already, and that's just me um, doing that. Now, I was going to tell you all about the lace fronts, the smart lace. It is, um, you know, bonded where the fibers cross, which should make it durable, but lace is lace and it will stretch. And once it stretches, you can't put it back into place. So if you need to adjust your lace front pieces, grab it back here. Don't grab the fibers that are attached to the lace because it will stretch it. Always grab from back here in the monofilament area, never in the front in the lace. Um, I have learned that the hard way. I had a beautiful, I think it was an Angie human hair wig from John Renault. It was pricey and I ruined the lace because I was not careful with it. So it can take a beautiful piece and just mess up that whole lace if you're not careful with it. So as you can see in the front here, um, you can see, is that my buyer hair or is that the roots? I can't even tell. It looks so natural. Um, as you can see, the lace, it comes down a little far. It comes down to here, which I feel like is kind of far down for lace, um, but it is a very lightweight, delicate lace. So I don't know if you can see from the side. I can't really tell um, what's lace and what is scalp. So that is definitely what you want. Um, you can pull this all the way back going down here. Now this is the problem I had with the Zara, which I'm really sad this is not working for my head. And again, I don't know if it's because I just have a low hairline here, but you can see that the lace, let's see, the lace is supposed to go, that's some of my bio hair, all the way down here, but my bio hair is hanging out and with the lace on top of it, it's just very, very obvious um, that I am wearing a wig there. So this would not work for me, sadly, but someone um, with less hair, especially around here, it would be phenomenal because I have seen this on women and it looks great on them. It's just for my hairline, it is not quite working for me. As you can see, 
the lace is sitting right on top of my bio hair, so it's not quite working out the way I would want it to. I could still definitely pull it back up top here. I just couldn't do a full on updo here, because you can see, see it right there. So that would be um, the downside for me with this piece, but with the silicone nape back here, you can pull it all the way up. Um, with your wigs, if you want to customize it, you can have little baby hairs um, cut into it back here. If you want to disguise the, the line of it even more, you could do that. But that is the feature of these uh, light wigs, is you can pull them back off of your face because of all of the lace and because they are so lightweight. So I think this is a beautiful piece. It just doesn't work for my hairline, unfortunately. The color is absolutely beautiful. Again, this is the 12 FS12. So um, a root here and then lots of these beautiful blonde highlights gives it an overall dimensional blonde look. And again, this is a human hair piece. This one along with Blake are the two human hair pieces that the light collection comes in. See, look, it's even calmed down a little bit. See, Carrie is such a cute style. She's so easy to wear. There's lots of different ways you could style her. And then of course with those lightweight um, ear tabs, you can definitely do an ear tuck with this piece as long as your bio hair is not hanging out like mine. <laughs> so, all right, let me give you a 360. Carrie, this is the right, the back, the left, and then the front. Again, if you have, um, uh, more hair loss and this is going to be wonderful for you if you're really thin right here it's going to be wonderful for you just know if you have um, most of my hair loss is up top here on my crown so if that is the case with you and you wear more toppers and this may not work out for you as well since that lace is right there it's a phenomenal feature um, but just doesn't quite work for my hairline Again, Carrie's a great style. If you need Carrie in your life, head on over to wigs by pattiespearls.com. This is the John Renault brand. I was going to say manufacturer brand. Carrie Light is the style. Again, the color is 12FS12. All right, I will see you guys next time.